Merry Christmas, guys. Today is the last and final day of the 25 Days of Sims. I hope you have a nice, lovely, happy holiday or holidays, um, depending on what you celebrate. But we're finally coming to an end of this 25 day experience. We've done good, we've done well. For our last and final video of the year, actually, because this will be the last video I post for the year until January next year, which is literally just a week away. So it's not really that big of a deal. But nonetheless, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing the new or not. It's not really new anymore, but the scenario that will be expiring in the new year. So we will go ahead and hop right in to it and see what it is all about. The new scenario is the surviving the holidays. It expires basically in about like two weeks, not even two full weeks, just on the fifth of the new year. So we will go ahead and do this since, you know, we are in the holiday time. So the description is two Sims who hate each other are stuck together due to a convoluted backstory involving some gnomes and real estate scams. And both are too stubborn to move out. In the spirit of the season, will they find a way to mend their differences or at least find some way to make the situation more bearable? to get through the holidays. So the Sims will start the scenario as enemies with grudges against each other. The requirements are Sims must not be related to each other, two Sims who are young adult or older, and then the potential outcomes are Sims are friends without any negative sentiments, or Sims are romantically involved as enemies with benefits. That is what's gonna be happening. I think we're definitely gonna try and aim for the Sims are romantically involved as enemies with benefits. It'd be a classic storyline, I feel like, you know, enemies to lovers. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just go into the same save file that I've been using for all of the scenarios. Okay, so we just need to go and create our two adult Sims. Okay, so we will just go ahead and give this guy a little makeover very, very quickly. Or as quick as I can do, you know, because I do typically go pretty slow when it comes to this kind of thing. I'm gonna give him, let's just like see some of the preset eyes. I just want to change his eyes up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot better. We'll also, you know, change the color of his eyes. Like, I don't like this hair. I might just like go for like a brown, no, too. Uh, I'm not feeling the brown swatch though. So we'll just stick with black. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some, throw some skin details on him very, very quickly. I decided I wanted to make my two adult Sims very opposite from each other. So I'm gonna make him, I well, I already made him very like, you know, more prim and proper kind of vibes and like just a little nerdy. But that's what I want with him. And so for our other Sim, we're gonna make them a little edgier. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a name, Grady Wyatt very you know standard basic name of there as far as aspirations go yeah, he kind of gives off like he's wearing a christmas sweater he kind of is giving off like family vibes so i'm gonna give him super big happy family whatever it is um and then i'm gonna make him you know, he's gonna be cheerful and he's going to be a bit of a geek maybe we'll do outgoing you know he's this chatty kind of guy and so for our next sim which we're definitely gonna have to edit this sim a lot clearly red is her theme color here uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give her a nice little edit okay so uh, i'm finally finished thank goodness i did not make you guys suffer watching me do this because i've been filming for like an hour now and i'm still in cast so this is gonna be christy lowry 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 I'm gonna see the changes because Bray Brayden. I can say Brayden a lot easier. That's what she'll be. And I kind of find with maybe she's like a creative kind of vibe. We'll say she's an author. She's supposed to have like very opposite traits from him. So we're gonna make her a loner. I'm gonna make her a bookworm just because she is an author. And then he was cheerful. I don't want to necessarily make her gloomy, but hmm, what should we do? I wish they just had like serious, maybe ambitious. We'll make her ambitious. So there we have it. We have Christy Brayden and we have Grady Wyatt. These are going to be our two sons that we're going to play with. So we will go ahead and pop right in. Depending on where we are in the game and the save, I might fast forward so we are in winter or at least fall. Because I want to kind of be in the holiday time where, you know, it's like snowing maybe and everything. So with that, I'm trying to think of the places that actually have snow. Obviously Willow Creek. I think most places, but like same as you know, I think it does snow, but it's like it's in the city. So you're not going to be going outside as much. I think 
actually oh, okay you know what we could do is we could have a little cottage home in Hanford on Bagley I think I'm gonna move them into this little cottage right here I mean this cottage is kind of more vibey I think maybe but this one has two bedrooms we can always change it I just depending on how I feel or like the vibes that I get from it so we'll see so they officially hate each other they hate each other's guts for sure but it is it, it's nighttime and we need to check this place out to see if i even want to stay here or if i want to like get another like lot situation okay so this is what the home is looking like it's really cute really vibey first thing i am gonna do just so i don't have to deal with this is we're gonna remove the lot challenges because i don't want to have to deal with only living off of certain ingredients or the foxes coming into our home the only problem that i have with this house is that i don't well we could actually fit a full size bed in here so maybe we don't i'm contemplating is if i can find like a christmasy cottage on the gallery i'd rather that so i'm going to just type in christmas and see what we can find possibly because that would just make my life easier okay so i went and found this little cute little christmasy cottage on the gallery i did change a few things and i added a little bit of cc um that i had in my game just to change it up a little bit and add a few things so this is what our little cottage our co not cottage it's now a cabin it's not a cottage anymore and so we're gonna go ahead and get started with these little sims and i'm contemplating on whether or not i should go ahead and give them jobs just be like realistic or should we just make it like you know they're all they're off on holiday you know they're this is their little vacation time i'm gonna go ahead and let them go off to sleep she immediately went to bed okay so i think another thing that i definitely am for sure going to do is go ahead and actually change it to at least fall like i said i might go ahead well because it would be day six of fall so that what actually that actually is working out really well for us so then like literally in the next two days it'll be winter okay so she is already up and ready to run bill so maybe you know she could do a nice thing you know start off on a good foot you know make the best of a bad situation and make them some little a little breakfast here okay nope but looks like he has beat her to it <laughs> so never mind um so she's up and ready so maybe you know what she'll she'll just be like you know i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna start writing a book um okay it's gonna be a children's book we'll name this book here we go we're gonna go real basic and we're gonna go here comes santa claus christmas story about the arrival of our dear saint nick so that is going to be her first little bookaroo she'll come down and join him for breakfast so they can have breakfast together their first little it looks like he's struggling so i don't know how this breakfast is going to taste but you know he's 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 cooking something and so they're having oh no having a nice lovely breakfast together but she apparently decided that she didn't want to oh they're starting to have a conversation on all on their maybe i don't know what's happening here can you can you not sit here and eat i don't think their cookie tray is that much in your way hon so you can't sit and eat next to him Okay, since it's with the enemies with benefits, like, I don't think we really should try too hard to, like, get them to be friends. I think they should still kind of hate each other in a way. I guess. I've never done friend and friend of me enemies. Friend of me's enemies, I haven't done any of it, really. We can try and find some common ground. We're not going to call out for breaking rules. We're going we're gonna to just keep it calm. I should have made one of them flirty so it would be more natural. So going for a flirt this is probably gonna turn out very very badly but they're they're having this conversation over breakfast she finds him attractive i don't know about him he finds her attractive so they find each other attractive in some sort of way oh no he did not like that i honestly don't know how to go about this oh no okay maybe we shouldn't do that this dream bitterness she's really not feeling it she's like just i'm walking away okay so i'm gonna go ahead and they're gonna watch a nice little movie together i think that will be a nice way for them to kind of set things on a nice track see if that can kind of break down some walls a little bit with them she really does not like this guy she, every time he's near her she goes in the opposite direction just 
watch the movie together. It's fine. You're gonna be fine. Sitting next to him is not gonna kill you. I guess you didn't bitch. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't. They're both crying about the movie. So I mean, common ground. It's fine. See, the movie's over and they're still talking. Okay, let's just let's, let's just have a little cute little chats together. This is gonna be a lot more difficult than what I thought. Can you just sit and chat here, please? That would be lovely. Okay, S seems like it's not it's not going too well. I'm wondering what if he asked for reassurance with her and what would happen. Do you have fun hanging out with me? No. No, Grady. <laughs> no, absolutely not, Grady. Grady's trying. It's, it's, I think it's, she's the problem. Really interesting situation. They were doing fine. They were doing fine watching the movie. And then came this. <laughs> you just ask like simple questions like I get to know you, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. They're just not finding any common ground whatsoever. Like this is, this is really difficult. Okay, maybe beg for forgiveness. I, at this point, I, I don't know what to do. I don't even know how I would make them friends, honestly. I mean, is there anything to do? I mean, tomorrow would be the fair, which we would not have anything con to contribute to the fair. Oh, let's go to the Spice Festival. Yes, let's go do that. We need to do something. We need to get out of this house. Maybe this house is not a good environment. Maybe they're just, the built up tension from the whole situation just is not good for them. So we're gonna get out of the house. Maybe eating some spicy food together will just, you know, trigger them somehow in a positive way. Okay, um, I think there's something wrong with my game because I just said that I completed this with them being friends. They're not friends, they despise each other. But it said that I completed it. <laughs> okay, I think we need to do a redo. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, they still despise each other. I'm, I'm, I, I'm very confused. They have no friends, but it's saying that we're friends. Okay, we're just, okay, we're gonna start over. Okay, we're starting over, fresh, same sims, restarting. Okay, um, we're just going to start off. Again, we're gonna, the movie situation kind of worked best for us. We're gonna start off watching a little movie. I feel like this is all we're doing so far is we just watch movies with these guys. You know, give them a heartfelt compliment. I mean, how could you be mad about a heartfelt compliment? I, I, I stand corrected. I have no idea how in the world. Maybe apologize. I feel like he would be the one to apologize. That didn't go too well either. Make peace after fight. Okay, let's see if we can do that. He, he's, he's not feeling it. Okay, it's midnight. I think I think we just give up. I think we give up. She did not find any of her jokes funny. She she's actually bored from bad jokes apparently. Boring movie, and um, yeah. So I, I I don't know what to do. I'm I'm at a loss. And of course, it's talk like a pirate day. So that that's just so helpful. We're gonna compliment. His mighty fine grub that he made for us, even though it's actually not good. Oh my gosh! That actually... Okay, you ruined it. That actually was a positive. It was... it was a... it was a positive romance interaction. But she had to ruin it by yelling at him afterwards. I don't know what is her issue, but she's constantly yelling. Constantly. We're gonna try. We're gonna try a little, a little flirtation again. Clearly, they like flirting with each other. So you know what? I think that's all we need to do. Is we're just gonna try going for a little apologize, and then I'm gonna see if he can play with her. Arc. I was saying compliment of mighty fine grub the whole time, but it's actually garb. We're we're just gonna try that again. We're gonna have him try because you know she's she's lost her touch here. So maybe we're gonna get him to try. And maybe she'll like that. Nope. Okay. Never mind. I thought that I thought that that was going well for them. Apparently not. I mean, what if you guys just like danced together or something? I don't know. Okay. It's a little awkward, but you know, it's fine. She's just angry all the time. I think it's the loner trait for her. She just doesn't like being around all her sims and it's not really helpful. Okay, honestly, this is going well. They're having positive interactions. So we're just gonna have them dance with each other for maybe a few hours. Okay, don't do anything mean, okay guys? Okay, he's over it. Understandably so. She is, she's, she's a little bit of a pain. I'm feeling the pain too, Grady. 
No, don't kill yourself, please. And the fire has started. <laughs> okay, and we can't put it out. Please extinguish the fire, Grady. See, teamwork! This this teamwork situation should have you guys, like, really positive. I'm just- I'm just- I just need anything- anything positive to happen. Let's see, what can we do together that will be positive? Positive vibes only. I think chess wouldn't be bad. What are other interactive things? I mean, playing video games. Okay, I might get, get them to play a video game. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get a little gaming system for us. And then I'll also get just all the activities, indoor activities. Let's see. Yeah, we can get a little like game board thing. Um, okay, so we have chess to do. What else? What other indoor activities can we do? Maybe darts, you know, darts still. That will help them like, you know, release their anger towards each other. I'm gonna remove this window. <laughs> or I'm gonna put a dart thing right there. Maybe foosball? Honestly, I'm desperate. Anything. We'll even put a ping pong table outside. They're just gonna play games to together and hopefully that will, you know, help them be nice to each other. So she's agreed to do foosball. She's literally running to do it. We're getting we're getting positive interactions here. Okay, so they played foosball for a few hours. I mean, it helped a little bit. It was all positive. So now we're gonna try and play some cards, see how that goes. They have to pass the time somehow, so we're gonna play some card games. We're just gonna play some games together. Listening to some music. They still don't want to sit next to each other. I mean, we'll just like try and have a little bit of a chit chat. Cause like, see their relationship is a little bit better. And then maybe try possibly going for a flirt. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, no, 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 let's not be mean to each other. Let's not, not, let's not stoop to that level. You know what? We're gonna invite Katie to skate. Apparently she likes dancing, so that's nice. Skating, dancing, very similar things. Let's go skating together, Katie. Oh, oh, Katie's, Katie's not that good. Oh, neither is Grady. I don't know if this is actually helping with their relationship because they're not really skating together together. They're just both skating. <laughs> After this, if we can't do any normal interactions with each other, we're just going to take a bunch of pictures until our enemy situation goes down a bit so we can actually get this done. Like they are still like absolutely hating each other. And I don't know what else to do. Grady, my friend, Grady. How about some pictures? We're just gonna take a lot of pictures together. This is a cheaty way of doing this, but I have no other idea of how. I've tried everything and I'm too scared to move, to like go to a different lot after last time. Oh, okay, Brady's taking a picture by himself, but her nose can be in the picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and extend the seasons. We're just in winter from for the rest of this. They look so cute together though, too. So you guys just need to get along. So you can make a nice little cute couple. I mean, that's, they're, they're doing a little bit better. Oh, idea. They can try cooking together. Cook together with Christy. Like we can make a nice, we can make sugar cookies together. Classic, classic making sugar cookies together. Uh -huh. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Christy, are you gonna help? You know, it'd be nice if he helped. I, he clearly needs some help. Huh. Help, I can't handle this. Christy, you need to help right now. She's literally standing here. This is the issue I have with the uh, cooking together is typically the other sims that are supposed to be helping, they just stand there. Yeah. What am I doing right now? I don't know what you're doing. He has a fear of cooking. Are you kidding me? He's panicking and she's just standing there. He has made the sugar cookies by himself and they are terrible. <laughs> He's literally ready to <laughs> I mean, we did make progress with just the picture taking bit, but we also have traumatized Grady. Oh my gosh, these Sims and these fires. You should be very appreciative of him. I wish they could do, like, be able to say thank you. Oh my gosh, does that pause? That was their first, well, I, I shouldn't probably say first, but like, they have not been able to get along. But while they were sleeping, I put a bunch of incense candles out. So 
I'm gonna try and just make it a very romantic atmosphere. So they maybe won't be able to resist just feeling the love in the air. How the heck is there a fire? Where is there a fire? Why is there a make-believe fire? <sighs> oh, you know why there's a fire? It's because of the incense candle. I gave up. <laughs> oh my goodness. These Sims. I am now the one that is traumatizing them, apparently. But they're feeling the love in the air. At least she is. Okay, so we're gonna help her come back down here. She's feeling flirty. She's feeling it. She's in that flirtation, flirty, flirty, flirtation mood. Oh we can just do a nice little, like, hey, little, little bit of, little bit of a flirt. She is a little tense. She's no longer feeling romantic. Okay, never mind. Both of you. Smell the aroma. Get you in a flirty mood. They're talking with each other on their own. Maybe I just need to keep my hands off of it. I'm gonna let them sit and chat. See how that goes. Let's relight the romantic atmosphere here. Oh, it's snowing? Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can have a snowball fight together. We can do that. Can we like build a snowman no we can't build a snowman with him apparently okay you guys are teasing each other you you missed hardcore there hun why are you so tense now she's feeling flirty you know what we're gonna take that flirtiness and we're gonna try and flirt with grady we're gonna try and seduce i mean she could if she can do it we're gonna try it. we're gonna go for it go big or go home <laughs> He's laughing. Okay. Oh, no, he does not like it. He does not like it. That's embarrassing. She just gets so frustrated. <gasps> what the heck? Why did she just start fighting him? Pictures. We're just going back to pictures. That's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. So we're just going to take pictures together. Now they're going to absolutely hate each other. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hate this game. I hate this game so much i made so much progress they were getting better i don't know how people are doing this how are you how are you able to make them <sighs> honestly at this point we just need to at least get them to be friends oh this is grady the, one of these two is grady's the first one i didn't actually delete them <laughs> so there's two grady's here they're getting along maybe we should give give them a peaceful environment maybe that will break down the tension I'm gonna try playing cards with Bert Grady in this peaceful, calm environment. He decided to react to the first snow instead of doing what I told him, even though there's been snow on the ground for like over a day now. She's actually laughing! They're actually having a positive conversation? What? Oh my, can we please keep this up? They're having, they're having a pleasant conversation. I think we broke through. I think we finally broke through. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, she's bored now. Okay. It's her fault. Why do you do this? It's not a boring conversation. He's just asking about you. Christy, I hate you. You guys are having... You guys were having a positive conversation and you ruined it. We get so far, we get so far, and then Christy ruins it. <laughs> I hate Christy so much. Okay, honestly, them just dancing together has gotten them so much better. Spoke too soon. Really? You were making so much progress, and then he walked away because you'd be mean to him. Listening to romance music too, because so I was trying to see if maybe hopefully that could get them into the mood. It's not really working. I'm wasting so much money lighting these stupid incense candles that's so not really doing much at all. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Look at that. Dancing together is th the key. Dancing together is key. Oh, and she's flirty. Okay, should we risk it? That's a small little flirt. They're both in the flirty mood. Cross their fingers. It worked! It worked! It was all positive! We're gonna do that again. Okay, they look flirty! Can we get can we get the romance bar? I just need you guys to give me the romance bar. Guys, I think we finally got it. I'm gonna be so happy. Please. 
Please just give the, give me this. Give me this one little thing. I'm gonna let her go ahead and blow a kiss. We should have the romance bar at this point, I feel like. It's a suggestive conversation. We're gonna go for sexy pose even. Like, come on. Give me the romance bar. They're really flirty. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna kiss hand. We should be able to kiss, I feel like. Maybe? Okay, maybe not. I mean, at this point, we should definitely should be able to kiss. Come on. Exchange numbers. First kiss! Oh my gosh! I think we're, we're about to be done with this stupid scenario! I will never do this scenario ever again. I absolutely hated this. First kiss! Finally! Oh my gosh. They can't- okay, yes. Okay, so they could woohoo. We'll woohoo in the shower. I don't even care. Just woohoo, period. Thank goodness. It finally happened. I mean, still so we're technically not done yet because we need to be enemies with benefits. I don't know where we are now at this point in our relationship. Still furious. It's hot and cold. We're at hot and cold. We need to build up our romance a little bit more. I think just like letting them woohoo a couple of times, I think they'll be good. Like, just keep on doing that. Oh, they're kind of tired. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, they can do a pregnancy test. This has been a common phenomenon in my game is my sims getting pregnant. I'm just gonna let them go to sleep. Hopefully never have to experience them actually having a child. That would be great. Oh, I think she's pregnant. She's thinking of a baby bottle. I don't think I am risking woohoo that high. Why does this always happen to me in all of these games? She's feeling very confident right now. Confidence is key. We just need you to get your act together. Come on. You almost have like a completely high situation going on. They're lovers. Did I do something wrong? They're still enemies though. The romance is 100%. How am I supposed to get them? <laughs> I feel like they should be enemies with benefits at, at this point. But I think the issue is, is that they're not like hating each other enough. So I guess I maybe should like, you know, give them some negative feelings for each other. Maybe increase this a little bit more argue a little i don't know i honestly don't know what i'm doing because they are still enemies that's the thing but they're just lovers right now should i risk making them fight again i'm gonna risk it i i'm so confused with this guys i'm very confused okay so they're enemies now again they despise each other but you guys are in a flirty mood well you might be Oh, he didn't like that. He was like, no ma'am. <laughs> you just you just fought me. I mean, they're not feeling the best. Maybe let a day pass. Because they're enemies now. Grudge from fighting. It's not a fest. They still have festering grudge though, too. I thought we were almost done, guys. I just don't know how to get them to be enemies with benefits. Oh my goodness gracious. The fires in this house. They want to play ping pong together. They hate each other. But they're playing ping pong together. We'll give them a nice romantic atmosphere again. She is definitely pregnant. That is a baby bump if I ever saw one. This is a very sticky situation. I mean, I guess share the big news first and foremost. See how that goes for you. Okay, that, that was positive. We're just gonna, we're just gonna flirt. It's still an unpleasant conversation. Okay, it's a pleasant conversation now. So we're gonna flirt. And have a nice kiss with your hopefully soon to be front of me. Okay, and I'm gonna just get them to woohoo. They're gonna woohoo a bunch, and then hopefully we can finally get the enemies with benefits, and then we'll be done. It still says that they're lovers. I don't understand. They hate each other. They literally have a full-on festering grudge. They're enemies. They're at 99% hating each other. Okay, I think I'm gonna take another risk because it's at 99%. So I'm just gonna do a slight insult. 
And maybe if it's at 100, 100 with the negativity. Okay, it just affected the relationship. I don't know how to do this. It just still says lovers. So they 100% hate each other. And they should 100%. Well, okay, it's 99. I think my game is just glitched. I think that's why I'm not getting it, which is very frustrating. What a oh, negative 100% with friendship and 100% romance. And I'm still not getting it. I think mine is just glitched because like I did the very first time as soon as we traveled, it gave it to me. Okay, we're gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try traveling to see if that helps or maybe it does something. So I'm gonna save right here just in case and see if maybe like just traveling to a different lot might help. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a simple travel on over to the pub. No, I think mine is just glitched, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying. It's actually really annoying. So I'm gonna exit really quick and I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna cheat the completion of the frenemies. Art. It's frenemies to lovers for me. That's what it's gonna be for me, even though it's enemies. I don't know why I keep on saying frenemies. I can't even cheat it. So I think we're just gonna call it a horrible, terrible glitch that is very frustrating, especially since I spent hours doing this. So he's going to ask her to be his girlfriend and that's gonna be our conclusion to surviving holidays. We're enemies, we're dating, and I'm gonna have them travel and that's how we're gonna complete this um, because that's apparently the only way we can complete this scenario. That's really frustrating to me that this is a glitch and I actually did look it up and it looks like some other people also had this glitch where when you moved to a different lot or just traveled to a different lot, it completed the scenario with just the remaining just platonic friends no hard feelings no negativity so Bitch. we are done we're officially completed the scenario not in the way that i would have liked to but the scenario was completed that was a very interesting turn of events there uh i'm still very uh, very annoyed because i spent hours doing this trying to complete the scenario and it did not properly complete i honestly probably should have just started completely all over instead of just adding the same sims into the game i think that that is a very frustrating glitch because if it was someone else and they didn't think to try and do any cheats or try to figure out and like google if this glitch was a thing, they may have gone on for days with this and never come to some sort of conclusion and thinking that they did something wrong. So that is one issue. This is like the first issue I've ever had with the scenarios and this is the third scenario that I've done so far. But hopefully maybe they'll like, well, honestly, they're probably not going to do anything because this scenario is only going to be here for another two weeks. I'm wondering if this issue has been going on since the very beginning of the scenario and it just never got addressed or like it's just not happening to enough people for them to address it i don't know but hopefully if this ends up happening again where there's a glitch with the scenario that it actually gets addressed and gets fixed that would be really nice but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here guys i hope you again that you guys have a lovely amazing wonderful holiday and if you did enjoy this video you guys can go ahead and give it a thumbs up you can also do a little comment down below and you can also subscribe to my channel and once again guys i hope you guys had a wonderful amazing joyous holiday um thank you guys so much for watching through these 25 days of sims i will see you again next year bye guys